Since people keep asking me what emulator I'm using for this, I am using Mupin 64 0.5.1. Uh, the recommended emulator for this is actually uh, Project 64, but I have compatibility issues with it. And uh, um, like, see the the carpets that I'm standing on, as well as the shadow. Textures like that don't appear for me in Project 64 due to hardware compatibility issues with Project 64, so that's why I'm using Moopin 64. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I am going to actually skip a world here and go over to the world after the, the next world in sequential order, but I'm first going to show you where the next world is if you would like to go and do the worlds in order yourself. Uh, you just go over and turn this corner here, and there's the world, right behind that shimmering wall. It's the, well, rippling wall, shimmering wall, whatever you want to call it. But, I'm not going to do that because I want to show you something later that requires me to have under 70 stars. And if I complete that world plus the world that's beyond this star door, you know, 100%, What's going to happen is I'm going to have over 70 stars and I'm not going to be able to show that to you. So it comes down to simple math. And that was weird. The camera was like jiggling up and down as I was en entering this place. So we have this block of water in the way. It's not like a painting. It, it literally is like a block of water. See it shimmering on the edge there? And you'll see that there's a hole uh, beyond uh, this water. So let's enter it and vanish into thin air despite it being transparent. Because this is the next world. Dire Dire Docks, and let's board Bowser Sub. Yes, this is the actual Dire Dire Docks, not the m name that I mistook it for. I mean, mis mistook Jolly Roger Bay for. This is the actual uh, Jolly Ro <laughs> Dire Dire Docks, the actual Dire Dire Docks. Man, I keep getting those two worlds confused for some reason. Anyway, swim through here, and you got the beautiful music relaxing you along the way. Ah. <sighs> No need to worry. You've got some air here to relax yourself. There's no need to panic when you've got music like this. I could just stand here all day. Even though I can't, because I'm gonna drown. <laughs> anyway, you're gonna see Bowser sub over here, and that's the thing we got aboard, of course. And the only way we, we can do that is to go over to the other side. I'm just gonna get a little... A uh, breath of air here and read the sign along the way because like the eh, like to show stuff my first way through a level eh, Mario Sometimes if you pass through a coin ring or find a secret point They've taught this before <laughs> All right, so over here is an exclamation point switch This actually has two functions, but I'll only go over the first right away here that my first way through you just end, go up to here, and voila, you are on top of Bowser Sub. And this is the star that you need to collect. Um, this sub will be gone later, so if you'd like to explore how it looks, go right ahead now. I already showed you the majority of it anyway. It's a pretty simple uh, object, so I'm just going to collect the star and get out of here. And the wall behind Mario moves back after that. Uh, you cannot complete all the stars in that world until you beat Bowser in the Fire Sea right here. So let's do one of the castle secret stars here. Bowser in the Fire Sea, red coin star, plus getting a key, plus beating Bowser. Let's do this. Starting with a moving platform on a track, a very common Mario element here. Recreated in the 3Ds. Ow, oh, shooty shoot. Perspective is not on my side. <laughs> Do not be on the platform when it's dipping into the lava. That would be a very bad choice on your part. And oh jeez, bully. No, you don't. Oh. Well, that worked out. <laughs> uh, up here is the first red coin. And you don't want to miss any red coins along the way because it's really tricky to uh, get back from where you where you came from. And you'll see why as we go up. What? Did, it, did Goomba just die somehow? I didn't, I didn't see how a Goomba died over there, but clearly a Goomba died, or, or something died over there because a coin appeared. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go up here to show you what's in this box. Nothing special, just some coins. But what is special is that coin on the side. Be careful in getting that on this moving platform because it tilts depending on where you are sitting. 
Note that there's a red coin as you're going up this post. How you get that, I'll show you in a second. There's a coin up on that side. And you just activate this elevator and move off it. I'll jump down to the coin. Bloop. Voila, got four out of eight. And let's gotta, gotta climb back up here. And after you climb that elevator, that's the point where it feels like there's no return to this lower area. Uh, you'll see why which is why you want to get all the coins before you get up this elevator. Uh, see how see where we're, we're kind of like trapped here? Well, what's going to happen is that... Hey, <laughs> camera, I was kind of stuck there. Come on, camera, work with me here. And once you get past a certain point, like you see, you can go up and down from this point, but around this area is lava preventing you from going down to the lower area, so it's really annoying to get back to where you once were. I'm just gonna skip that platform, it's far more treacherous than it's worth. Ah, I gotta get up on top of this thing. Dang it! This thing is like... Have you ever played a miniature golf course where you had to putt a ball up a hill and try and get it there by speed alone? Like, like you couldn't go over and you, you couldn't go under because the ball would just roll away from the target that you need it to be. This is that kind of obstacle. <laughs> it's not particularly dangerous, but it's so annoying to get out. <laughs> there we go. It's number five. Um, I could either go underneath. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! How did I manage to fail that? I can actually grab underneath that grate and you know, climb underneath it, but no, no, for some reason my jump button, it, it failed me. It just decided to fail me for some reason, even though I was holding the jump button and I was, ugh, forget it, I'm cutting over. Yep, there were three Goombas here, so that means there was one that killed itself. And it appears, it appears that their sound effects are not working for some reason. <laughs> oh well. There's coin number four. Now it's time to play some mini golf again. I'm not cutting this out just because you probably enjoy seeing the fails. Come to think of it, I haven't been really failing all that much in this walkthrough overall. I've been the Gary Stew of walkthroughs in this one for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. It, it just like things have been going my way pretty well lately. I'm not complaining though. Ah, stop it. Mario, you must have just the right amount of speed. There we go. That works, and up here for that coin. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, just skip those, that area right there all together. Like, what you're supposed to be able to do here is be able to grab onto it like that, but my, my, I was holding the jump button and it failed me. It, I just did not grab onto that whatsoever on my first run through here. I just don't get it. <laughs> anyway, let's go up, and uh, uh, this is where the uh, texture things of Moopin64 uh, are much better for me than uh, Project 64 is because like I would not be able to see the shadows of boxes and coins like this so there's a chance that I might miss or forget a coin like that because I would miss seeing the shadow that I'm so used to seeing in the original version. Accuracy is everything when it comes to playing emulated games in my opinion. Anyway I've got six out of eight coins and hopefully there won't be any more flubs along the way. Hopefully. Although that would probably please you greatly as the viewer. No, 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 bad. Bad, ba -bom. Okay, that works for me. <laughs> uh, this place is kind of treacherous here. You gotta get... Gotta be very careful of amps plus lava plus fire. And there's a very treacherous coin to get right there. Gotta play hopscotch with, I mean, a uh, jump rope with amp. Got seven. Alright, last one is up ahead. Just gotta... No, 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 no. <laughs> I was gonna fall in the lava there if I didn't get up before I turned my angle. Alright, um... I wonder if I can get it from here. I think I might be able to... Yes. Um... I thought... Wait, no? Where's... Oh, it's down there. Poopers. Oh, I should have checked who's in that box. I was, I was too preoccupied with the coin. Oh, I gotta get back up there anyway. The star is up there. That's right. That's why I wanted to go up there. Okay. Oh, I was just a little bit too early. 
both on the jump and the with this, uh, thinking of where I need to go for the star. <laughs> Alright, it's not that hard to get, get up there, you just gotta do a couple of wall kicks. And you have to have a certain amount of speed in order to do wall kicks. It's no big deal though. This is a one-up, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Alright, this is tricky. Let's be careful. Be careful. Yes. And there is one of the castle secret stars. And I'm not going to put up the boxes because I'm going to do like a whole area in one before I put up the, the menu boxes. And I'm just going to go all the way over here to this funnel with a star in it. And oddly, when you go through it, you disappear. Bobbles are fight number two! Let's do this! Mystery me again, are you, Mario? Can't you see that I'm having a merry little time making mischief with my minions? Now return those stars. My troops in the walls need them. Mwah. Immediately when the fight starts, run away from him because he's going to tilt the whole dang platform. There we go. It's safe to just run and hold away from him. I'm going to let him do a couple of his new attacks here, so while you enjoy the awesome Bowser music. He's got this charge attack, and he also jumps to make that platform move. He also does that if you accidentally throw him over the arena, like when you're trying to throw him towards a bomb or something like that. Come on, do something new. I'm pretty sure you have something new. Do I have to be near you? Oh, you got that teleport. That's new. But I still want you... I think you've got... Yeah, you got fire. Maybe that's all your attacks. Maybe your last form has more than that, and I'm just thinking of stuff ahead of time. Yeah, he's not all that threatening, as you can tell. He's just there looking, I'm Bowser, I am very dangerous, supposedly. All right, lock, get him to lock onto you like he would do with the big bob -omb. Walk, Run around him, and eventually, you know, eventually, he'll, he'll be able to shoot something towards me. Actually, maybe I should make you run towards me, like over here by this bomb. Oh, jeez. Panic, 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 panic. By the way, if you die, it's not really that big of a deal because of the, um... If you die, it'll poop you right out where that funnel is. And there we go, there's my opportunity. Alright, angle the camera towards the bomb. I don't really even really have to throw him all that fast. I just have to get the angle right. There we go. Yep, just like the first Bowser fight, one hit does the trick. Oh, can it be that I've lost? The power of the stars has failed me. This time, consider this a draw. Next time, I'll be in perfect condition. Now, if you want to see your precious princess, come to the top of the tower. I'll be waiting. <laughs> and he pops out a key. There we go. <laughs> You can't grab the key until it stops moving, it's kind of weird like that. Woo! Alright, to finish off this part, I think what I'm going to do is show you the thing that I want to show you that requires you to have under 70 stars. So, I'm going to rush all the way over to the very last Bowser area in the game to show you guys something because I'm able to because this game is so open-ended. <laughs> As I said before, I'm really, really ahead of the star curve, so it's no big deal whatsoever. That key that I got opens this door. I'm not going to be doing much ex exploration on these upper floors here. Um, the second floor door leads over to another staircase, which leads you to the third floor, but I'm going to show you something here. Uh, camera. Camera, work with me. There is an odd little ledge. Uh, you can jump through this wall here. Hold on like that and actually skip these stairs for whatever reason so that's a little glitch that they missed out on so i actually glitched through the wall there and over here is the next place that i'm going to this is a 50 star door uh this is the door that i said that i didn't even have access to earlier when i got uh 50 stars outside of the hazy maze cave and this leads to the last worlds of the game yeah this is th i'm looking at world 14 right here <laughs> So I'm really, really ahead, but I just want to show you guys 
um, what's up over here, because if I have over 70 stars, I can't do this over here, to open the door that leads to the endless stairs. You need seven, 70 stars. Well, actually not really, it opens for you. Watch this. If you don't have 70 stars, these stairs loop endlessly. <laughs> And I, I think there's a little texture issue at the top of the screen there because of the emulation not blacking out the area. But that's okay. That's how the endless staircase works, is basically it keeps snapping you back over and over again. Um, I'm gonna show you here now from a different angle. I'm gonna go towards... No, 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 I wanna go towards the camera to show you this. No, no, watch it. See the snapping? It just keeps resetting your position over and over. Now I'm gonna show you a little glitch here, if I can pull this off. You can actually skip these endless stairs altogether without having to get 70 stars by long jumping towards the camera and then long jumping backwards as fast as you possibly can uh, by rapidly pressing the jump button. Let's see if I can pull off this glitch. Oh, dang it. Failed on it. Try it again. Oh, come on, PK Gam, you can do this. You've done it before. It's really, it's really fun to pull off, too. Come on. Come on, get the grip, Mario, come on. Get the grip. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. Trying to go, oh, almost had it there. Dang, ah, oh, lost my long jump. Come on now, I've done it before. It can be tricky to pull off, but I've done it before. Come on, Mario. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, there we go. <laughs> And right here is the last Bowser thing, I mean the last Bowser area in the game. And as you see, that would normally be impossible if I didn't do that glitch, but I thought I would show that glitch off while I had the opportunity, while I had under 70 stars. <laughs> is that not awesome? <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part.